everyone my name is magdalene and you're onto magda vlogs so guys if you just stumbled upon this channel i'll need you to kindly go check out my introductory video i'll leave the link down below right now guys i'm off to somewhere very important interesting rather which i'll not be disclosing to you right now but you'll get to know in a bit stay tuned the likes of John Ford, you can have the likes of John Hill, you can have the likes of um, Amwaj. Now, basically, a lot of people just go into a store because they perceive perfume, a particular smell from someone and they desire to have the smell, not knowing whether that particular fragrance is good for them. There are different things people should be conscious of, there are different, different things people should search for in perfume. You need to know whether the smell is in good enough for your skin, good enough for your pores, good enough for your comfort. If you are sick in terms of you have some certain defect on your nose, and probably you easily have runny nose, you are very sensitive to some certain types of perfume, you need to understand the ingredients in some of those perfumes so that those ones that you are sensitive to, so that you don't go buying the ones that will actually give you any form of irritation or reaction. There are some things about um, exclusive perfumes. There are niche perfumes and there are um, general perfumes, other perfumes, regular perfumes. So if you are the type that loves sweet smell, if you are the type that loves fruity smell, if you are the type that loves um, if you are the type that love the lemon smell, these are everyday perfumes. These are not perfume you, you these are perfume you can wear any time of the day, especially when it is a bit sunny or when it is a bit uh, a bit relaxing. But there are perfumes you want to wear on a special date. There are some perfumes you want to wear exclusively. Now, a good perfume is dependent on the person. So perfume is a very personal um, item. Okay. Person A may like a perfume, but person B does not like it. That doesn't make the two perfumes lesser to each other. So perfumes are very, very personal. The, one of the greatest things about perfume is you detecting what you are comfortable with. Not just what people like on you, what you are comfortable with. In terms of smell? Yes, in terms of smell. In terms of duration, in terms of um, comfort, very, comfort is very important because you can wear a perfume and you are uncomfortable with the smell, you are restless with it. 
You understand? Then there are some products you wear, some perfumes you wear, yourself inside you you're excited. Perfume should bring out some level of excitement. Yes, it should bring out some level of excitement, and once that excitement is there, you have your self-esteem. Anybody who is not excited about a particular thing, that thing creates a low esteem. It's just natural. So once you what when, when is it perfume brings out joy in you? Is that excitement? Because the, why do why would somebody want to buy this is for instance this is a fifteen thousand naira perfume? Why would somebody want to buy a hundred thousand naira perfume over a fifteen thousand naira perfume? This is Kenneth Cole Black. Some other some people will buy a Kenneth Cole Black whether it is a hundred thousand naira. They don't care because they are comfortable with the smell. Now, why some other people will want to buy the and a much, probably a 70,000 naira or 75,000 naira perfume. At the end of the day, they will still come back to the Kenneth Cole because they are comfortable with it. So it's not about price sometimes, it's about comfort. Now, once you are sensitive and about your comfort, you understand what you are comfortable with, then you can go around those um, categories of perfumes that you are comfortable with. So you need to know whether you are the type that loves a fruity perfume, you are the type that loves um, a sweet perfume, you are the type that loves a lemon perfume, you are the type that loves uh, a musky perfume, oriental perfume, frog. But there, there are different classifications of perfume. So the primary thing is what are you comfortable with? If you understand that, then you can start traveling along different brands. It's very, very inviting. Yes. <laughs> okay, so guys, you can always wear perfumes when you want to feel sexy, when you want to attract the opposite sex. One of the greatest things about perfume lovers is that there has to be an opposite sex attraction. Yes. It's a silent intention. A lot of people don't talk about it, but it's a truth. If the opposite sex is not likely, there's a problem. If somebody out there is not liking it, really it may not be opposite sex, but if somebody is not liking it, there's a problem. Even when the perfume is very good, you just feel there's something wrong with the perfume. Nobody's commenting. Okay. You understand? And um, also, why, why are some perfumes extremely exotic? What makes a beautiful perfume is the creativity of the perfumer. The perfumer is, the, what you see packaged is the brand name. There is a perfumer for every perfume. The perfumer is the original creator of each scent. So the perfumer, the perfumer's works are the things that determines the beauty of a perfume. Now, there are different factors that affect the prices of perfumes. One, it will be adverts. It's a big brand and they need to go into adverts. So, the, that perfume will be pricey. Now, two, the quality of a perfume also determines the price. Some perfumes are just um, regular aromatic ingredients. They are not natural ingredients. They are not well refined. They are not well processed. In fact, they are sometimes unhealthy, both to the skin and to the lungs. Wow. Yes. So, there are so many things coming into the country that are not regulated. Do you understand? So, if sometimes 
Some people have skin irritation as a result of the perfumes they wear because the concentration of the alcohol is even abnormally high. You understand? While sometimes, oh, some people say they love oil without knowing the ingredients of the oil if it's damaging to the skin. And the worst is oil because once it comes on your skin, it stays. It sticks. So the damage of oil is higher than even perfume. A lot of people don't understand this. That's why you see some people that if you watch what's the fastest way to tone the skin is oil. So when the oil touches the skin, a lot of people feel oh it's nice, let me go, it smells nice. But there is no proper health control of these things. People shipping different things without any regulatory, regulatory body. Check it. Yeah. You understand? Wow. There are some perfumes you wear, they will smell fantastic, yeah. but it's giving you headache. Wow. Yes. So you need to know which that you must not trade. So how can we get to know which is safe for us? Okay, for a novice, I only go after things that smell nice. If you walk into a perfume store and you are not properly guided, you will buy what you will never be comfortable with. A lot of people want to sell perfumes, but they do not have, they do not know how to sell perfumes. Now, when you, except you know what you want to buy, once you know what you want to buy, that is beautiful. Just go ahead. If you know you have any health risk, you need to ask a question. You understand? I'm, I'm, me, I'm very sensitive about people who have health risks and they want to use any perfume. Because once the damaging effects come, it can be very, very sometimes. You understand? If nobody is around to assist. Now, now, not to be scared. We don't need to be scared about perfumes. <laughs> we don't need to be scared about perfumes. As long as you know your limits, you know when you are having uh, a sensitive reaction. You need to. Some people are allergic. You understand? Now, why some people? Anything goes with them. So, if you want to know a quality perfume, now, if you want to know a quality perfume, the longevity of a perfume, I mean, is part of the determinant of the quality perfume. Okay, the last one. Yes, the the silage, the 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 extent to which it will stay. You understand? And you know perfumes have different notes. There's a top note, there's a middle note, there's a base note. Now the top note is the first smell. Oh, I love this. It's beautiful. But after a while, it fizzles away. It doesn't stay. Yes. Now, the middle note, after that first two minutes, 30 seconds to two minutes, that's the top note. Now, the middle note is about the next five minutes to 15 minutes, that's the middle one. So the smell you get, that's why some perfumes they have evolving smell. The first spray is not the same thing yes. with the last yes. spray. So the last the last smell is the base smell, which is the real smell yes. of the perfume. Yes. So if you walk into a perfume store and you just perceive the first weave, oh, smells nice, I like it, and you realize that you got oh and the smell changed. You become disappointed because you didn't wait for the base smell. So you need to learn how to wait a bit on the base smell. If you are comfortable with the base smell, you're not going to be. So in essence, you said perfumes that last longer are, are the best Yes, perfumes that last longer. They are skin friendly, health friendly. Yes, once they, they meet all those criteria, they are skin friendly, they are health friendly. Yeah, uh, may not be pocket friendly anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can see we have so many perfumes to come to this um, store. Different brands, different um, packaging and all of that. So we want you to take us around and let us know the different brands you have. Tell us how good they are. Please, if possible, the prices, if you don't mind. And everything you, we need to know about Okay. Just like a summary.
for somebody to say I want a perfume and um, what's the price they start thinking or what's your budget they start thinking now if you have a good budget between 10 and 15 thousand be sure you get a very good perfume but if you want an excellent perfume be budgeting from 20 25 30 now this is can expo black is on discount some other people some other stores may sell 20 thousand but we are selling for 15 thousand a giveaway price now this this same perfume now one of the good thing good ways of differentiating perfume these two brands are can it go but one is more recent than the other a lot of people know the old smell this is the old can it go this is Hugh the toilet Hugh the toilet is a perfume concentration that is slightly lower than Hugh the perfume just slightly lower so often times you discover that um, the Hugh the perfumes are stronger and yes. more long lasting mm -hmm. but sometimes the classic smell people prefer the classic smell classic smell whether it is you the perfume or you the toilet they still go for it some other persons when they perceive this they may still prefer to come back to the classic one they know now this is black bowl by Kenneth Cole this is the you the perfume of Kenneth Cole okay. this is the you the toilet of Kenneth Cole this is a classic one the old one everybody knows so which is more expensive are they of the same price Yes, this is slightly more expensive. It's okay. just slightly more expensive. And that's the Yude perfume. Yes, this is the Yude perfume. Okay. This one is seventeen thousand. Okay. This one is fifteen thousand. Okay. The price differences are not always that much. Okay. You understand? Now, this is Guerlain. Not many people know this Guerlain. Guerlain has many brands. Oh, countless. This is Guerlain Heritage. This is one of the US brands of Golin that is not very known. Now, a lot of people know this Golin ideal, but they don't know this heritage. So, some people sometimes it's some particular brand will be very successful in the market, very known, very, very successful. That doesn't mean they are better than some other brands by the same designer. You understand? This is Ideal Golly, very successful. This is um, Heritage, not so popular, but very excellent perfume. Mm -hmm. Now, this is just going for 27,000, wow. and this is going for 29,000. So, and they are both here the perfume. Yeah. They are both here the perfume. Now, one of the things, some of the brands you should look out for because we may not be able to exhaust yes. all the old brands here. Exactly. So the brands you should look out for, they are not popular, or they are, they are not so popular, but they are very nice, very, very nice. If you have not used a leather blend before, it's time for you to think about a leather blend. It is a lovely perfume. It is uh, an instant perfume. The, the impact is so instantaneous, very, very effective from the point of spray and it's so long lasting, quite affordable, just 24,000 naira, it's not expensive, it's you the perfume, it's like a masterpiece from Davidoff, it's like a masterpiece from Davidoff, very nice, very sweet, it's an amber smell. Now, if, if you are also looking for 
a, a niche perfume. This is Cedric Boys. This is a niche perfume. Now, there are some perfumes that are niche, they are not so popular, the producers are not so known, they are private collection, they are not big brands like the Calvin Klein, they are not big brands like the likes of um, Hugo Boss, but this is a private collection, this is a niche perfume. There are many niche perfumes, in fact some of these niche perfumes are becoming big household names. That are, that are becoming much more global in presence. Now, Mansera Cedric Boys. Cedric Boys is, uh, is an excellent perfume. Like, uh, it has a smell of Hermes, like a lemon smell, but very lovely smell. Very long lasting. Every Mansera product, they are known for, they are known with wood. Wood oh. have a beautiful oil base and wood is uh, an Arab oil base yeah. that makes a difference. It's known as an oriental perfume. Now all wood perfumes are oriental perfumes. They are extremely long lasting. Funnily, every designer, every brand is now doing wood. This is Versace. Mm -hmm. This Versace is also wood. Versace oriental wood. So this is one of the best of female perfumes from Versace. If you like strong perfume, if you like a perfume that has presence, a perfume that makes a difference, a perfume that is catchy. Wow. When you leave a place, it will keep smelling. Mm. It has wood, the wood makes it very beautiful. Now, and how much does that go for? This is just going for 35. Just 35. Now, there are some perfumes that, oh, they have been there for ages. They have been there for ages, and they make great sense. This is Alien by Thierry Mugler. Now, Alien is, they've done a lot of versions of it. There are many versions of Alien. Now, this is the basic Alien. This is the first Alien, the classic Alien. So, Alien, there is now Alien for men. There is this is the first alien that came out and it's still the best selling alien and this is just going for 30,000 now there there are perfumes like Nina Ricci Le Extase Nina Ricci Le Extase is a sweet perfume it's a fruity perfume it's an everyday wear it's a perfume you love to wear Every day you can't want to drop it because the smell is so attractive, it's so inviting for a lady. And this is just 28,000 naira. Now, this is one of the fastest selling brands, Marc Jacob Decadence. This is one of the fastest selling brands. It has a Beautiful bottle. Yes, I must say this. One of the things that, that that attracts people on perfume is also the bottle, the design of the bottle. People love the design. You use them to beautify your table, your dressing table. So when you men looking at the bottles, you become excited. There are some perfumes you see, perfume bottles you see, just become so much excited. Not even the smell. You'll be wondering how come somebody talked about this design. It's so creative. Now, this has the shape of a bag, very, very wow. attractive. It's the shape of a purse. When you look at it, you want to have it. And it's quite excellent. 30,000 Naira, on point. Now, there's something we're doing in Just Fragrance. When you buy two perfumes, we're giving some perfumes for free at no increase in cost. Wow. No increment. Can when you, you hear that? When you buy two perfumes, any two perfumes from 20,000 Naira upwards, you are going to get a free bottle of perfume. It's never been done. It will never be done because it's so difficult to do. We do this every year and a lot of people come in to make sure they enjoy this offer. Any two perfumes from 20,000 Naira upwards. There are so many perfumes in stock. 
so many collections we have. Name it the Chanel brand, name it the uh, Amwatch collection, any of the Amwatch collections. Name it the Aqua de Palma collections. There are so many. There are so many upstairs. Now, the basic thing you need to understand when you are buying a perfume is for you to look at how much you have budgeted for that perfume. What you are willing to spend. That's one. Two, what you are comfortable with. Once you get these two factors right, trust me, you are going to go home getting a lovely perfume from Just Fragrance. Thank you so much, Mr. Clement. You're welcome. Thank you for having Badger Blows. Yes. Thank you for giving us for, for, for the lecture because it was a lecture, guys. Trust me, I've learned so much. Yeah. I've learned a lot. There are still many um, things yet to say. Okay. A lot of things I knew in the past concerning perfume, about the night stuff, allowing your skin to breathe and all of that. Now I know that there are some perfumes that are actually harmful to the skin. And there's some perfumes that can actually be harmful to your health as well. So right now, he has cleared my notion on so many things. And I hope you guys learned a lot. And um, like I said before, buy two perfumes. There's a promo going on currently. And I know you want to be part of it, of course. Legosians. And I guess you also deliver outside Lagos. Right? Anywhere you are in Nigeria. Nigeria. Place place your order. Anywhere you are, you get your perfume. So you can place the order for perfumes. Because for perfumes from 20k and above, right? Yes. So you buy two perfumes and you get one free. Yes. So grab this opportunity, guys. Grab it. So to keep in touch with Just Fragrance, they will get to share with us their social media handles, their websites, their address, and I'll also leave the link to all of these handles down in my description box. Okay, okay, yes, thank you very much for paying great attention. It's been lovely having you watch us. One great thing about us, if you want to catch us anywhere, any day, anytime, just hook on, on the Instagram page at JustFragNG. Just is J-U-S-T, Frag is F-R-A-G, then N-G, JustFragNG. Same thing for Facebook, at Just. Frank NG. Now, if you want to check us on WhatsApp, if you want to connect with us immediately on WhatsApp, just dial the number 080-629-55863. 080-629-55863. Then for the website, for those of you who want to see beautiful pictures on the website with their prizes, you can hook up with us on our website page www.justfragrance.org Thank you. So that's it guys on Matter Vlogs for today. Hope you had fun. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Hope you learned a lot. Please like this video if you love what you just saw. Share this video. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll, I'll also leave the social media handle to Just Fragrance down below. And I'll also leave the link to their website. You can contact them for your perfumes and grab the opportunity of this promo. Until then, guys, I'll see you in my next video.